when the Chicago Bears selected Kendall Vildor with the 163rd overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, Vildor's defensive coordinator at Georgia Southern, Scott Sloan, knew that his former player had accomplished enough throughout his career to make it into the league. He, he played well in big games, you know, the, the Clemson game, the Minnesota game, uh, LSU, you know, so he put good film out there against quality, you know, P5 mm -hmm. opponents, but then, you know, his, his senior bowl performance, you know, just hearing the feedback from how well he did really kind of gave you the, the indicator that he was he would get drafted. Just One of the main reasons why Kendall Wilder had so much success at Georgia Southern was because Coach Sloan trusted him and allowed him to go against the opposing team's number one wide receiver. You know, he was a guy that I never had to take the press card away from him and say, look, don't go up and press this guy. And it didn't matter if we were playing Clemson or LSU or whoever. I uh, always had enough trust in him to, to know the down and distance and the situation of the game, situation of what was going on, on, on whether to press or whether to play off or whether to play catch man, you know, that type of stuff. He was really good at getting in and out of his toolbox. But I think he's got a strong comfort in getting up on the line of scrimmage because there was times that, you know, may not have been an ideal press time, but he would get right up on there and, and, and press, you know, even some of the better wideouts that we saw every week. Kendall made plenty of highlight plays during his time at Georgia Southern, but one stands out above the rest. But one that really stood out um, was the interception he had against Clemson on the on the screenplay, uh, because a lot of that was uh, scouting report and film study, and so he knew because he he jumped it so hard and so fast, you know, and and you know I'm I'm friends with several of those guys at Clemson and, and talking with them after the game. You know, they asked you to gamble, and I said, no, it was actually a, it was, it was a scout report driven, and just the kid had studied it, and he just knew as soon as he saw what he saw, he could, he could pull his trigger. So I think that interception was just kind of encompasses him as a person because he does take football serious. He will study film on his own. He will study his scout reports. I mean, it's not just about when he's on the field. He does all that stuff to prepare himself, and so – to see him benefit and get an interception like that, you know, and, and what went into that interception, you know, that wasn't just a game day interception. That was a week-long prep by him 